Hey guys, Jay here, Rambling Camper Van. Hey, did you ever know that it's a horrible thing to have to turn your inverter on every single time you want to use a household item or something like that? So you have 120 volts to that item? I have a trick for you, a little tip for you. Now, this only works with certain size TVs and Blu-ray players and stuff like that. For instance, the one you see right here behind me, this is a regular household Samsung 120 volt TV. However, there's a trick to use this with 12 volts so you don't have to turn your inverter on and use more power to power this. Also, Blu-ray players. This is a regular household Sony Blu-ray player. This is also 120 volts, but there's also a way to use this without an inverter. You could actually use this on 12 volts. You will not have to turn your inverter on to use these items. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you the back of these and what I did to get these to work with 12 volts. So let me take the camera and come over here and I'll hold it up for you and I'll show you the wiring and stuff like that so that you can, you know, potentially do this yourself if you want to. Uh, but both of these are working on 12 volts and I'll show you, uh, I'll show you its operation a little bit later, but let me get behind them and I'll show you the wiring so that you can do this on your own. Again, this is a 19 inch um, Samsung. Um, I believe this might be the largest one that will work on 12 volts. So you can't, you're not gonna get like a 30 inch, a 32 inch or a 40 inch or anything like that working on 12 volts. Um, that's not meant to work on, on 12 volts. Meaning, sorry, my dogs are playing right here. Meaning you, 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 you're gonna have to use an inverter for those. The TVs are just too large, I guess, for them uh, to have them work as, as 12 volt models. But this one and, uh, and most Blu-ray players, I'll show you which Blu-ray players you need to look for t so that you can use it on 12 volts. All right, so let's get behind these and take a look at the wiring. Okay, so now I'm holding the camera. It might be a little bit jumpy, but I'll try to keep this this really straight for you. So, so the Samsung 19-inch TV, you can get these anywhere. They're they're literally 80 to 100 dollars at 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 most. You can get these at Walmart. You can get these on Amazon, and it's just a way better TV than a lot of the 12-volt TVs. And the 12-volt TVs are like always like two, three hundred, four hundred dollars. Sometimes they'll come with like a, uh, you know, a DVD player, a Blu-ray player over here on the side or whatever. But again, they're just so expensive and you could just go get a regular, everyone knows Samsung brand. They're, they're great TVs. You could just go get one of these at any, any of the places that sell, um, you know, like well, Walmart, Amazon or whatever. Um, so here's the back of it. And this is what you want to look for. A TV that uses a plug like this. This is called a barrel plug. Okay, and you see back here it says DC 14 volts. Okay, now this TV operates perfectly fine all the way down into the 11 volt range and all the way up to 15 or, or higher volt range. So this has a great, a great range on it. So as long as it has a plug like this and it says back here, you know, DC 14 volts or, or somewhere around there, you're good to go on this. So we all know that our systems fluctuate, you know, anywhere from a, a quite a dead battery at a, a high 11s to a charging battery, you know, in the, in the, in the, in the 14 volt area and sometimes even in the in the low 15 volt areas depending on your charging system so and and again these are not just 14 straight volts this can go down to 11 and up to 15 in the 15 volt range so you want to find a tv that says that you want to find a tv that has this little plug then what we do is we follow this plug and all i did was give me one second i'm just Grabbing the plug here. Okay, so I'm just pulling the plug out. And all I did was cut, there's obviously there's a positive and negative wire in here. And this is them right here. And this is just a, a quick hack job I did until I can get around to um, doing it the correct way. But here you have the positive and then the bare wire, which you could just barely see right there it's silver those are the two wires so you got your positive and your negative and you just 
splice that in to a cigarette lighter. So this cigarette lighter is, is just coming off of this plug here. So that's all that is. And then all you do is you plug it into your, your cigarette lighter source right here. And now you got 12 volt TV without spending a million dollars on an actual RV 12 volt TV. Okay, sorry about that. My battery died. Uh, so I got a, I just got a, a nest of wires wires here. I haven't cleaned this up yet, but um, so it's the same thing applies for you know a standard Blu-ray player. You're gonna look for a Blu-ray player that also uses. Let me turn this around. A barrel plug. See, right there, barrel plug, and look at this, 12 volts. So some, some accessories will have those plugs that almost kind of look like this and it plugs in the back. You don't want those because there's nothing you can do to make those 12 volts. But these, as long as you look for this barrel plug and a plug like that in the back that says, you know, 12, 13, 14 volts or whatever, um, these are the ones that you can convert to 12 volts and not have to turn your inverter on to use them. So again, I just did the same thing with this wire. Let me turn it around. And here it is, right here from the back of the plug, a cigarette lighter. And the cigarette lighter, these all have little um, little uh, 10 amp uh, fuses in them already. Um, and I, again, I just did this one uh, just real quick budget style so you can just kind of see it. But you just take the positive and negative to the positive and negative of the, of the, of the cigarette lighter. And that's it so that you can actually take both DVDs or Blu-ray players or whatever, as long as they use those barrel plugs like that, and they say, you know, 12 volts or whatever, you just, all you have to do is cut the plug and hook up positive to negative on the cigarette lighter side. We got power to it. I'm gonna turn the TV on and I'm gonna turn the Blu-ray player on. And there you go, both Blu-ray player and TV off of 12 volts, no inverter. And I've been using it like this now for about three years since I put this um, this system in. And uh, I haven't had a single problem, not when the batteries are a little low, not when, not when I'm getting a, a real good charge, you know, at high 14 volts or even like a low 15 bulk charge. Um, everything works absolutely perfectly. That is straight off of 12 volts. You saw it plugged into the cigarette lighter. That is my inverter. And as you can see, it is not on. And if we go over here, you can see, I don't know if you can see that 14.5 volts is the, is currently the solar charge right now that the batteries are currently seen. 14.5 volts and again like I said I've seen the system you know low 12s and stuff like that no problem whatsoever had I had a problem with the DVD player or blu-ray player or the TV having to turn on your your uh, inverter every single time you want to like watch TV or blu-ray or whatever you know and you know it uses a lot more power when you're using your inverter but you know some people you know it's not a big deal to turn the inverter on and do that but anyways this does save a little bit of power it's a lot easier you don't have to have the inverter on at all for me i like to just use the 12 volt system as much as i can and not use the inverter so there you go guys quick tip quick trick 12 volt home appliances i hope this video was helpful you guys take care bye bye